Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, May 22nd in 1864, a Sunday, federal troops arrived at Magnolia Hall, the home of Thomas Henderson family. They announced that Union General Canby had decided to make the house his headquarters. It's not surprising that Canby selected the Henderson home. Centrally located in downtown Natchez, the magnificent Greek revival structure was relatively new, having been completed in 1858, shortly before the start of the war. According to a letter written by her niece, Lise Postlewaite, Susan Henderson, the mistress of the house, begged the soldiers not to come. The troops suggested they wouldn't confiscate the house if they could find other accommodations. The following Tuesday, however, General Christian, Canby's aide-de-camp, announced that the general and his staff would be requiring a total of 12 rooms. The soldiers moved in the next day, occupying the entire downstairs of the Henderson home. Guards were placed in front of the house, and in her letters, Postawaite notes that the soldiers were very well disciplined. Indeed, it seems as if the soldiers and the Hendersons maintained a pleasant relationship. In June, Canby ordered a piano brought to the house, and the soldiers and their guests played and sang a great deal. Postaway wrote that on one occasion, a young lady was present and that the group waltzed till half past nine. The Hendersons sold the home in 1866, and the grandly scaled house was passed through a succession of owners, once serving as the nursery and elementary grades for Trinity Episcopal Day School. Today, the Natchez Garden Club owns and maintains the Greek Revival structure as a house museum with gallery space containing costume exhibits. Hi, I'm Cheryl Reinhardt. I'm a member of the Natchez Garden Club, and I've had the honor of serving as president for four years and chairman of Preservation Society of Ellicott Hill for two years. And this has been your Natchez History Minute.